Hey guys, we are out in our goat yard right now and we are about to copper bolus our Nubian dairy herd. <laughs> These are copper bolus tabs. You buy them, they have little copper rods in them, and it helps with deficiency in dairy goats, especially if you are in a deficient area which we are they're not getting what they need off of hay and their grain so um, super fun sticking these down goats throats that's where we employ this little doodad it's a copper bolus gun it's actually kind of not hugely helpful but we're gonna give it a shot and see if it does help all right who's first Come here. She's a bit. All right. All right, big mama. So, where's, oh, he has my phone. <laughs> Can you make a note? We've got Ebony. Ebony, check. Here's Mary. I think if, it might be easier to stick it in the throat. If Dude. that one chick would've got, the one goat that died would've got this, would she have lived? No. No. <laughs> I thought she died because like some iron deficiency or no. something. Yeah, no, this is, it was, uh, that was, she had hypopressia. She couldn't, uh, she couldn't absorb calcium in her system. <laughs> So there's nothing you need. I think there's the gun, nothing. So the gun won. Sticking it down our throat, zero. I think the gun wins. There's nothing you can do to actually treat that. Hey, mommy, Hold on. Get in. Yeah, but it's not in her throat. Okay, listen here, lady. We'll get in the carpet. Hold on. This is how this is invasive. He has the oh, thank you. <laughs> Hold it for me. Thank you. <laughs> Miriam, I'm not happy with you right now. One negative thing about Ebony, and she has literally changed her entire personality. She's watched following us around, we're petting her, she took a cover of bullets like that. She's like, watch guys, I can do it. I can play the part. Don't get rid of me. That's literally what happened. Look at her, she's sitting there like, oh, you can pet me. I won't run from you. I won't get rid of you, Ebony. This morning, I was saying that I was going to get rid of Ebony because she's such a jerk, and she's been a sweet little angel. Look, she's been following us around. She's the only one that took her carpet bullet. She just swallowed it like, look what I can do. Big mama. Yeah, well, big this, mama. This is polyester. 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 Oh, my God. I'm about to run a goat. <laughs> there we go. You got it in there? Yeah. Where's my girl? No. This baby no, girl. Ready. What are you doing, bro? If this goat takes off with me, I swear to God. Oh, I got the farm hat. Real quick. Open up your mouth. Say, don't you get her mouth open then, and I'll stick it in there. Okay. Well, that's a three person. Do you have to bullet oh. the uh, the babies? I don't have the right size boluses. It's in there. Keep your head up. 
You kind of got to depress their yeah. tongue. Yeah, Parker. Parker. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, Parker, press it down. Daddy. Yeah, Parker. <laughs> yeah, you pet her. It's okay. <laughs> Good job petting her. Ezra does not have his shoes on. You got it down? Yeah. Rubber throat. There's got to be an easy way to do this. Is that considered a baby? Megan? No, that one. Oh, no, she needs copper bolus. I'm actually yeah, wondering watch her. if the reason why Gigi and Rory are so stunted is because of some sort of deficiency, because one of the signs of um, them needing copper is their hair starts turning red. And theirs is turning really red. Like, yeah. if you look here on their back. Another sign is their, their tails will separate and fishtail, and some of ours have that going on, too. So this is definitely yeah. needed. If you lift your ear. Who lift your ear? Me and Maggie. What? Aww. No fishtail? Like, down? It kind of splits. I know, right here. <coughs> Which one is this? Like is this Lorelei? Yeah. Hold it. Swallow it. Swallow it. There you go. She swallowed it. You gotta hold her till he can fix the collar. She's really trying. But oh, it fell out. Ugh. And it's open too. You need this. You need this in your body. Ow! Shoot! She spit the crap Ow! It's bleeding. I just got attacked by a goat. <laughs> Did she swallow it? Yeah, I didn't see it come back in. Uh, is that yeah, it? Yeah, it came back out and it's too broken to put back okay. in. That's okay. We'll have to. We'll start another one. Dang it! Goat bite? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 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 I gotta know it. Don't get mad at me this time. You got a copper bullet? <laughs> Hey, hold on, baby. We gotta do this to the goat goats for you, okay? Good? Yeah, we got we gotta put copper bolus in the goats. Yeah. Your freaking mouth looks so nasty on the inside. This thing works so good. Oh, what the heck? Oh, hold her up. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Rub it. All right, sweet. So Did you find a little puddle? No. <laughs> Um, so the products we're using today, we've got the cheap bolus gun, which turned out to be a pretty good tool to have. A lot of people say they hate these things, um, but after getting my thumb chomped on by a goat, I think this is probably a good thing to keep around. It's like $2 at the feed store. And um, I've got this Santa Cruz copper goat copper bolus. Ultra Cruise, they're four grams. If you're gonna do baby goats, you do two grams. And uh, from everything I've read, Amazon and, and this brand is your best source of this as far as price-wise for good quality. Some people make their own by uh, getting the rods and putting them in capsules themselves, but I went ahead and just got them. All right, we're finally done. This morning we did the copper boluses like we showed you, and we also did CDT vaccinations for all 14 of our adult Nubian goats. Now, they're a large breed. We had to wrestle each one, um, but we're also kind of new at this, so it took us around two and a half hours to do all of that, uh, probably a little longer than if we had a little more experience, but... I don't know, there are certain things that might never get a whole lot easier, and uh, one of those things, I think, is putting a pill down a goat's throat. Now, um, I wanted to come back and give you guys just some information, make sure that it was all clear. Now that I'm not distracted by the task at hand, um, I want to talk to you about copper deficiency, how to spot it, and obviously how to treat it like we just did. Um, 
for me, what I noticed uh, with my goats was they were starting to show some of the big red flag signs of copper deficiency. However, I already knew we lived in a copper deficient area. I'm a part of a local goat group on Facebook, which has been a priceless resource. And also, um, the people that we got most of our goats from are breeders that have been working in this region for many years, and they've been very helpful. If you are not plugged in with a local goat person, I highly suggest getting plugged in, finding somebody um, that you can ask questions. Facebook is a really awesome resource. You can call your extension office, call your 4-H program. Um, there are just some things that you can't figure out as easily by a quick Google search. It's better if you can have a relationship with a real person that has experience dealing with goats in your area. So I already knew that our goats were going to need bolusing about every six months. That's what's recommended. Um, if you live in a deficient area, more frequently if you start seeing signs of deficiency. And ours were due for it. Now, so I wasn't surprised. It wasn't like, oh my goodness, this is a terrible thing. I was expecting it. And to start seeing the signs that I was seeing was not, was not unusual, considering they were already due to be bolused. Now, the first thing I was really noticing, and I mentioned it while we were bolusing this morning, was that several of my goats, specifically the ones with black hair, were starting to have some real color variation in their coats. It looks almost like um, they were getting sun bleached. It was kind of turning coppery, uh, red. There was some fading, especially around their eyes and on their backs. That's a sign of copper deficiency. Another thing is their tails, uh, what they call fish tail where the hair on their tail, it's actually from balding on the very tip of their tail, and so the hair splits and it looks like this. It's, um, it looks like a fishtail. And that is one of the big red flags. That's always copper deficiency. Another thing that we weren't experiencing, but that you might be experiencing, is that um, a lot of times they'll start shedding. Their coats will get really britter, brittle and bushy. Um, we have not encountered that in our goats, but the fishtail and the reddish um, coloring on their backs was all I really needed to see to know there was a problem. Another issue that you might have, but you might not um, at first associate with uh, mineral deficiency is if you're having a hard time getting rid of worms. I have heard people say, and I believe that it's true, that um, a healthy goat that is not mineral deficient will not support a heavy worm load. Um, if you're having a heavy parasite load that you're having a really hard time getting rid of, you're, you're worming a lot, um, which is not something you want to do if you're trying to lean towards sustainability. You want to keep a healthy herd so they are a um, parasite resistant herd naturally. So with me, I've got a couple of goats that have kind of been borderline wormy and they're having a hard time kicking it even though I've been worming them that's related to copper deficiency. Um, if you have a goat that's healthy and that has all the copper they need, they're not gonna support a heavy worm load. Now, the thing with copper boluses is, is, as I showed you, they're tabs with little copper rods in them. You put it into the goat's throat, it goes down into their rumen, and it sits in their rumen, dissolves, the capsule dissolves, and the copper actually stays in their rumen for several days. They've done x-rays, and the goats still have copper in their rumens nine days later. So I'm not going to stick these uh, boluses in my goats, and their hair change color, and all the worms go away tomorrow. It's going to take a few weeks of their system uh, getting healthy, those, uh, those bits of copper dissolving into their bloodstream, and their body responding to that extra boost in order for me to see these things change. I will update you guys and show you here in a couple of weeks if I'm noticing those go away, if I'm seeing it um, easier to combat the worms, and if I'm noticing any color changes in their hair or their fishtail go away. We'll just kind of watch and see. Um, I am expecting those things to get better. Uh, another tip is uh, I showed you the bolus gun. Uh, that's also called a balling gun. That's the small size. If you get a large balling gun, those are for cows. They're huge and they won't work for anything you're trying to put in your goat's mouth. Um, but that small balling gun, it's really cheap. You do need to be careful when you're using one of those that you're not just jamming it in your goat's throat. You can hurt their trachea. Uh, what we were doing with that is we were putting it in, depressing the tongue, putting it down deep enough that they couldn't just immediately spit it out, and then closing their mouth, turning their head up, and rubbing their neck until they swallowed. Um, you're just wanting to get the, the bolus down past the point where they're easily going to regurgitate it because, um, 
they're ruminants. <laughs> they regurgitate. That's what they do. So you just kind of have to go against nature there to get something down and make it stay down. However, you're not trying to just jam it super far down their throat. You don't want to hurt them. That is hard, rigid plastic. It could hurt them. So just be mindful of that. Um, dosing. We used four gram boluses and um, all the goats that we gave them to, except for my two little stunted ones, which we dosed them. That was a little heavy of a dose for them because they are under 90 pounds, but they're not much under 90 pounds. So we went ahead and gave them the four grams um, because I really felt like they needed it. I feel like they've got some severe deficiency. My, older, my other goats, they're all well over 90 pounds. It was no problem. If you have minis, uh, dwarfs, anything like that, or if you're dealing with young goats, the brand that I showed you, Santa Cruz, they also sell a two gram tablet. So you would just buy those. You can buy um, Coppishure is what it's called, which it's a, a bovine copper tab that you can break up, put in separate tablets, make your own. Um, it might be cheaper that way. I'm not really sure. I didn't look into it that much. I just got the um, Santa Cruz, I think the last time I checked, it was something around 15 or $16 with free shipping to buy the little tub that I showed you today, which has 25 tablets in it. Um, that's enough to do my herd twice. So I think that's everything that I wanted to tell you. Oh, um, for deficiency, an area becomes deficient because there's not enough copper in the soil or in their feed. Now, most goat feeds have copper added, but if it's not in the soil, then it's not in the hay. And um, therefore, no matter how much copper is put back in their feed, it's just not going to be enough to offset the fact that everything else that they're consuming is deficient. So that's why you add the copper in if you're in a mineral deficient region. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And I hope this was helpful to you guys. Please um, comment if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to share this in any, uh, any place that you, you think it might help somebody. And we will talk to you guys again soon.